Hi everyone, it's Miss Erin here. I am going to attempt to teach a beginner, advanced beginner class for all of you right now with the help of my daughter Adair. So we are gonna get up and start with our warm up. I am gonna prop up my iPad here. See if I can get it in a good position. I think that's good. Okay. All right, so everybody pull your shoulders and arms back and point your right foot. Adair, are you gonna join me? Here we go, ready? Leg goes up, down, up, down. Try not to let your arms move and point your toe as hard as you can so that your leg is nice and straight. No bent knees and no turned in feet, okay? So let's come back to the start again. Let's come into fifth position. So this is a position with your back foot turned out, like so, and then your front foot turned out, and we stretch through our legs. We point our toe, and we lift our legs up, down, up, down, up. Now we're gonna add to it. Jump, kick, pointing my toes. Jump, kick, pointing those toes. Arms don't move. Jump, kick, let's see how much you can cross. Cross, kick. Cross, kick, excellent. Let's come back to first position. Arms in tight again. Hands in fists, glued in, and tippy toes, down. Tippy toes, down. Tippy toes, down. Tippy toes, down. Who can stay up on their toes and just walk back and forth, back and forth. Now let's look, do little jumps. Try to point your toes down. Point those toes down. Now let's add a little bunny hop. Forward, back, out, cross, forward, back, out, cross, faster. Forward, back, out, cross, forward, back, out, cross, forward, back, out, cross. And then stay in your cross position. All right, we're gonna try to do all of that dancing again on our left foot. So it's good to play games where you test the kids like, is this your right foot? Is this your left foot? Right foot, left foot. And it gets them knowing one from the other. At class, sometimes we put a scrunchie on their right foot. So if you have a scrunchie at home, that's a good way of showing them which foot they should be on. All right, we're gonna switch to some drills on our left. Arms in, as tight as they can be. Pointing through our left foot again. So it's good to start in fifth position and then point our left foot as hard as we can, trying to stretch it up through that back leg. Here we go. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Trying not to let anything move. Add the jump, jump, kick. Jump, kick, jump, kick, jump, kick. Excellent. Back to feet in first position. Let's check in on our arms again. Let's do a little stretch for our arms. Grab, make a fist in the back, and grab those arms. This is good for opening up that chest and pulling our arms back. Arms in tight. Up and down on our toes, faster, up, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hop, two, and then they can just kind of hop around the room, little hops, and then we try to stay up on our toes, and we do lifting, 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 lifting in the back, lifting up, lifting, 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 lift, 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 lift. They can jump up and down trying to lift their toes up to their butt. Another thing you always hear us saying is turn out, turn out, turn out. If you can teach them how to turn out, it's not easy, but how you can do that is through this exercise. Lifting up in the back and putting our foot in a turned out position. 
lifting up in the back and turning out our feet. Or as simple as just turning out, turning out. Walking, walking. Walking like a duck or walking like a penguin. And bringing that back, walking, turning out, turning out, turning out, turning out, turning out, turning out, or just even walking like a penguin or a duck. All right, now we're gonna stretch. And I'm gonna bring a dare in for the stretching so I can just show you guys how to help them out with their stretching. Ready, Adair? So come on, honey. So Adair is gonna come down into a straddle position. Let's move up a little, sweetheart, up here. Okay, that's perfect, sweetie, okay? And what's important is that they try to stretch out their legs as much as they can and try to point their toes. And a lot of kids like to let their feet turn in. Try to get your body to the ground, honey. A lot of them like their feet to go in like this. If you just give them a little reminder to try to keep those feet back, that helps with the turnout here. It's trying to keep those knees. And here she is, she's gonna do a little stretching through her hips. Good girl. And now what else should we do, honey? Point and flexing, ready? Let's see your arches. Point through your toes as hard as you can. And she points and flexes. Points, flexes. Points, flex. Point, flex. Point, you put your toes in the toaster and pop. Toes in the toaster, pop. Toes in the toaster, pop. Good, turn out and straight. Turn out and straight. Turn out, straight, turn out, straight. Excellent, can you lift up your right leg? Now point it as hard as you can. Point, point. Point. Now flex. 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 Point. And flex. Gorgeous. Other leg. Point. And flex. And point. And flex. Good girl. Leg down. Uh, can you do 10 sit-ups for me? Yes. Right? And I'm going <laughs> to hold on to her leg. I need it. Oh, okay. She doesn't need it, but that's what you can do. You can just hold on to their leg. Breathe out as you come in. Breathe out every time. They can use their arms. Good girl. What number is that? Ten. Oh, ten. Okay, let's try to go into our splits. So, a great thing to do while we're not while we're away is try to get our splits. So, try to hold their knees in, and they can go into good. Do, they can do what a deer is doing. Go right into their split, or they can go into their runner stretch and then go down into their split. Once again, making sure that their foot turns out and that they don't try to do fake splits. Let's go to the other side, Kitty. Other side. Ready, stretching down. Lunge, you can lunge, stretch through that back leg, runner stretch. In Irish dancing, what we really want to have is a straight front leg because so much of what we do is looking for a straight front leg. Excellent. Can you give me some push-ups? Or no? Maybe, some, maybe tomorrow we'll do push-ups. Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right, let's stand up, Adair. Now, your dancers as beginners, advanced beginners, they know a lot of our standard steps. So we are going to start with our Irish skips. I am going to change the music, guys. And we're going to go into one of your favorite things, right? I just gotta get myself back into my iTunes. So Adair, you're gonna stand up and start demonstrating Irish skips. Okay, honey? You ready? How do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. All right, reels. dancers at this point know their skips. It's a gallop on the right and gallop on the left. Gallop on the right and gallop on the left. Keeping your arms in, please. 
as tight as you can, trying to keep the front foot out and the back foot out. Now, if they're having trouble with this, go all the way back to here. It's just gallop with the right foot, gallop with the left, gallop, gallop. Now, I'm gonna break it down a little, Adair, okay? Just in case kids are forgetting how to do this or you need to help them at home, it's a gallop and a skip, a gallop and a skip, a gallop and a skip, a gallop and a skip. Or some of them might know how to start. You start on one, two, ready and go. And one, two, three, and two, two, three, and three, two, three, and four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, and eight, two, three. Adair is gonna do it one more time because they love to do it across the floor. So Adair, let's start over in this corner. This is how they like to do it. They can even do it in the driveway. I'm sure they do it all over your house but this is just another way for them to be doing it. Ready guys, here we go. So we're here, we're gonna say one, two, ready and go, because we love doing this. Skip two, three, and skip, keep going. Go around the circle. She's going, she's still going. Now what I would love then is that you go into, right into your sevens. Keep skipping it there, keep skipping. You keep skipping. Right into our sevens, jump. Back to three and back to three. Arms in, get higher on your toes. That's okay. Great, now she's going to the left and back. Get up on your toes, please. Back to three and back to three. So now I will just explain these a little bit slower. You start on your right foot and you go to the right. Jump two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back two, three, back two, three. Back two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back. Now to the left, left. Back. Back two, three, to the right. Back two, three, back two, three. Excellent. So we did our skips and we did our sevens. Next, we are gonna move on to our light jig. Our light jig, most beginners at this point know their whip and up and skip two, three, and whip and up and skip two, three. Kick, cut back, kick, cut back, kick, cut back, cup one, two, three, four. And they also might know jump in, kick out, hop one, two, three, four, step. So Adair and I are gonna demonstrate both of these so that they can practice them at home. Now I have to get back into light jig music. You can find all of this music on Apple Music. Um, the real, what we just did, the skips, and the sevens too, are real, R-E-E-L, at speed 113, so 113. And now we're moving on to light jig. And there's many options for that. Or you can make your life easy and download the Fesh app. And the Fesh app has lots. Fesh is F-E-I-S app. They have lots of free options, which they actually have light jigs and beginner reels or as you get more advanced, they have some um, monthly small billing options and it's the best music and it's a great app actually for right now with lots of information about our dancing. Okay, moving on to re uh, light jig. So everyone, I'm gonna do it first slow and then Adair will demonstrate it for us fast. Um, so here we go, ready? Pointing my right foot once again, starting with the right. One, two, ready, and go. Whip and up and skip, two, three. Whip and up and skip, two, three. Kick, hop back, kick, hop back, kick, hop back, hop, one, two, three, four. Then we do that with the left foot. 
Left end up, bend skip, two, three. Right end up, bend skip, two, three. Left hop back, right hop back, left hop back, hop, one, two, three, four. Great. Now we're gonna put the music on and Adair is going to demonstrate this for us. Ready, Adair? <laughs> I'm also home with all of you, and I have four children, so I know exactly what you're going through. Um, here we go. Light jig, whipping up and skip two, three. Ready? One, two, ready and go. Whipping up and skip two, three. Whipping up, keep your feet out. She wasn't great at staying to the music on up, up, back, up, one of the four. So I'm going to do it for you now. Here we go. Mom, we'll do I it together. Have to are going to do our light jig, jump in, kick out, hop one of the four. Some of you do the first step and some of you do the fourth step. The first step is very simple. Jump in, kick out, hop one of the four, three times. So like this. One, kick, hop one, two, three, four. Two, kick, one, two, three, four. Three, kick. Special ending, kick, hop back. Now the left foot, kick, hop, one, two, three, four, jump, kick, hop, one, two, three, four, jump, kick, special ending, kick, hop back, hop, one, two, three, four. That's the first step. Now I'm going to do the fourth step. One, two, ready and go. Just one, jump in, kick, Hop, one, two, three, four. Then we skip to the front. One, two, three, two, three, four. Skip to the back. One, two, one, two, three, four. Special ending. Kick, hop back, hop, one, two, three, four. Then the left foot. Jump, kick, hop, one, two, three, four. Hop, one, hop, two. Hop one, two, three, four. Hop back, hop back. Hop back, two, three, four. Kick, hop back. Hop one, two, three, four. That's the fourth step. So now we're gonna put the music on and you guys can um, try it yourselves. Okay, here we go. Ready, Adir? So first she's going to do, she's going to do whip and up and skip two, three, and the first step with it. And then she is going to do the whip and up and skip two, three with the fourth step. Okay? Here she goes. Ready, honey? I'll help you. Back it up like you're at a fesh. This is like you're at a beginner fesh, and you have to do your two steps. Okay? Boys. Oh, two steps? Yep. Kick, kick, kick. 
angel ending two ways. You can do it. Kick, hop back, hop one, two, three, four, or up, hop back, hop one, two, three, four. There is two ways of doing it. So either one is great. Now Adair is going to do the fourth step for you, which is the step with the skips forward. Ready, Adair? Adair, I just want you to separate that special end. It's like kick, hop back. Hop. No, not that. That's kick, hop back. No, that's not it. It's like in St. Patrick's Day. You have to separate it. Okay, kick, hop. It's not like a Kaylee. Kick, hop back, hop, one, two, three, four. Yes. Is there a difference between Kaylee ones and other ones? Yes, when you do those jump back two threes. All right, here we go. Last thing of light jig. Last thing of light jig, guys. So I'm gonna do it. Fourth step, here I go. to our over the logs. So these are our Irish leaps. It's like you're leaping over something. At dancing, sometimes I make a little obstacle course for the kids so they can practice jumping over something. Um, I'm not sure what I have down here. I can see if there's anything. Oh, I have little blocks. Maybe I'll use the blocks. Hold on one second. yoga blocks and I'm going to set them up like this and I take my right leg up and I just jump over it. Over, two, three. You have to take those two steps and then my left leg is in front and we use the left leg to go over, two, three. I'm gonna back up just a little and make them a little wider. And I lift my right leg up and I leap over. My back leg comes up to my bum and I bring it forward, two, three. Then I bring up my left leg up over the block and I leap over, two, three. And as I get faster, I go, over two, three, and over two, three. And those are our over the logs. They can also do these across the floor as many times as they want to. Adair will demonstrate that right now. Going over two, three, and over two, three. Good girl, go all the way to the back. Now we are back to real music, R E E L 113. Two, ready and go. Over two, three, over two, three, over two, three, and over two, three. Over two, three, over two, three, over two, three, and over two, three. Good job. That brings us on to our real steps. And we're going to do our up two, three step in the reel, which is an easy reel. And we tend to do that to music that is faster. So I'm gonna try to find an easy reel here for us all to practice to. This is perfect. I think it's 122. So easy reel at 122. I'm gonna demonstrate this easy reel for you right now. So. Point your right foot and we do up 
two, three. Up two, three, and up two, three, and up two, three, four, five, six, seven. Over two, three, over two, three, one and two and three. Hop back. In Irish dancing, after you do the whole step on the right, you gotta do the whole thing again on the left foot. So now we're gonna do it on the left foot. And during this step, because we need a little bit of room, we turn around. But if you don't feel comfortable turning around, you can do the left foot to the front as well. I'm gonna turn around. Here I go. Left foot ready and go. Up two, three, up two, three, up two, three, four, five, six, seven, over two, three, over two, three. I strategically turned around to go point left, point right, point left, hop back. And that is our up two, three step. Adair is going to do it to the music. Here we go, Adair, ready? Up two, three. One, two, ready and go. Up two, three, and up two, three. High on your toes, high on your toes. Up two, three, up two, three. Left foot, up two, three, and up two, three. Up two, three, four, five, six, seven, over two, three, over two, three, point and point and point, hop back. <laughs> and that was the up two, three step. Okay, last step of the night for beginner, advanced beginner uh, is our point hop back step. And then tomorrow, and if you're an advanced, if you're a beginner or an advanced beginner who knows slip jig, I will put slip jig and easy jig and easy hornpipe on the next set of videos, okay? So, last thing we're gonna do today is the point hop back step. All right, here we go. And anything you've seen tonight, just keep practicing this over and over again. Get the download that music and practice it as much as you can. Might as well get really good at Irish dancing, right? During this time off. Um, and it's a great indoor activity, or you can practice it on your driveway, okay? All right, here we go. Point up back. One, two, here goes Miss Erin. Point, hop back, point, hop back. Jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, just like the sevens, which we really haven't done yet. I need to go over those. And then we... Do our skips. So use your right leg. Whip right two, three, and left two, three. Then you bring your right foot to the front. Jump, kick, and one, two, three. In the reel, it's three. In the light jig, it's four, right? Now we're gonna do that whole thing with our left foot. Here I go. Hop, point, hop, back, hop, point, hop, back. Jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip, left, two, three, and right, two, three. Jump in left, kick out left, and one, two, three. And that is our point, hop, back step. Now, Adair is going to demonstrate the point, hop, back step to the music. Ready, honey? Make sure you're really high on your toes and your arms are good. Okay, go on back. Stop it, Ron. Awesome. Last but not least, I forgot to do your sevens. We need to practice our sevens because they help us be really high up on our toes. And they're a good way of getting good at our side stepping and having really big up hop back. All right? So moving on to regular reel. And I think Rowan should join us for this since he's probably so good at them. Yes. Ready, bro? Come on. Here we go. Everybody knows how to do these, right? We 
we jump inside, step to the right. Here we go, Adair, ready? Come on. Great job, you guys. So that was about 30 minutes of dancing and exercise. So I hope you guys can do this this week so you can keep up with all your dancing. Our next video will be for adv more advanced beginner novice dancers. And I'll try to keep this going every day. It's a good little workout for me too. Okay, stay safe guys, miss you. Hopefully we're all back Irish dancing again together. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye.